Hi, this is Philip, and today I'm going to give you a short demonstration and tutorial on how to set all the parameters in MIDIC so you can achieve the best results when you use it. First, I'm going to let you hear the clean sound of my guitar so you know what we're feeding into MIDIC. Now, let's add MIDIC to the track. You should start off by going to the audio section. Here we want to adjust the pre-processing settings so it will fit our signal. Check the output and the wet buttons so you can hear the signal you are adjusting. It's a good idea to start without any filter or compression. These you can add later on if you can't get the desired result by only adjusting the gain. The filter is a low pass filter which you can add if you have a very bright guitar. Compression uh, corresponds to the amount of compression that will be added to the signal. So let's listen to the pre-processed signal. As you can hear and see on the level indicator, I have too much gain, so I'll need to reduce that one. You want the signal to be as loud as possible without hitting red in the level indicator. This seems like a good value, so let's deselect the monitor switches and head over to the conversion settings. Here, you want to configure the speed and the sensitivity of the conversion. Sensitivity corresponds to how hard you must play in order for MIDIC to detect your notes. A higher value will make it more sensitive, and a lower value will make it less sensitive to your playing. Speed corresponds to how fast MIDIC will detect your notes. A high value will make it faster, and a low value will make it slower. The higher you set these parameters, the faster the detection will be. But at the same time, the constraints on you as a guitar player will also increase, so you will need to play more clean and more accurate the higher values you use. So a good idea is to start low and work your way upwards until you find a level which suits your playing. 50 is kinda low for me, so I think I will need to increase this a little bit. This is better, because now I can feel that the velocity of the notes corresponds to the way I play more. Now let's also try increasing speed. Let me add the guitar signal so you can hear how it sounds. very high speed value works best for low notes. If I want to go a little bit higher, I should probably roll off a little bit of the speed. Let's add some bends. One last thing I would like to point out is that you should not use legato and bends at the same time, as this will give you some strange results. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me here at YouTube or uh, through email. Until next time!